Hi, Mr. Unkert here, and in this tutorial, uh, we're going to start a local server and run a little bit of PHP. So to start a local server, I'm going to go over here and type CMD for the command prompt. In Mac, it's called a terminal. Uh, I'm going to open this up, and I'm going to type PHP hyphen capital S then local host 4000 and hit enter. Okay, so our development server has started. To exit out of that, I'm gonna hit control C. That's gonna stop it. So again, to get it started, I'm gonna do PHP hyphen S local host 4000. Okay, and it's gonna start that up. Okay, uh, now I have this PH tutorial on my desktop, okay? So, we're going to have to keep that in mind once we create the PHP file to get the right path. Okay, so in this PHP tutorial folder, I'm going to create a new file. And instead of an index.html file, I'll do an index.php file. Now I'm in Atom. So to get a uh, HTML skeleton, and PHP uh, incorporates into an HTML file very easily, I'm going to type HTML. You have to label it a PHP file so the browser knows there's PHP in there. I'm going to type HTML and hit tab, and that's going to get me a basic HTML skeleton. So I might title this PHP tutorial. Okay. And so in the body, to insert some PHP code, I'm going to do a less than, and then a question mark, then PHP. Okay. And now I'm going to type my PHP function. So to print something, I would type echo, and then two quotes, and then I could say, this is test PHP code, okay? And then to end the PHP line, I have to have a semicolon. Now to end the PHP code, I'm gonna have to have a question mark, and then the greater than symbol, okay? So I can hit Control S to save, and I can open my browser. Now remember, we started the server under localhost 4000. Now, if I just hit that, I get this, okay? That's not what I want. So if you look in my terminal here, uh, you'll see that I'm under users and then Tionki, and then I have to go into my desktop. So I have to put a slash desktop, and you see I've done this already, slash then the folder on the desktop, PHP tutorial, then slash index.php. Now, if you have this in your documents folder, you'd have the slash and then the documents, then whatever you call this folder, then your index.php file. I'm going to hit that, and I see this is test PHP code, so I know it works. Now, with uh, PHP, you can write HTML. So I can write a paragraph tag in here and close out the paragraph tag. Now, I haven't styled the paragraph tag at all. So all this is going to do when I refresh is just move it slightly down. Okay, but if I styled the paragraph a little bit, like if I added some style tags up here, okay, and I just need a style tag, and I said P, and then a paragraph, and then I want uh, the font family to be Georgia, with the backup of sans, sans serif, okay, and then the font size to be 1.2m, okay. So now I can refresh, and because it's a paragraph, it's going to get a bit bigger, and the font is going to change, okay. I can write other HTML on here, like I could write an h1 tag and an h1 tag here, and hit Control S to save, and you'll see that this is styled like a header now, okay. So echo is one of the first PHP commands that you, or functions that you want to learn. And um, it's not that interesting just yet because you could say, well, I could just have typed, you know, this tag in an HTML document and written the same thing. But the cool thing about PHP is you can make your website dynamic. And if you meet a certain amount of conditions, you might echo uh, a certain thing. And if you don't meet those conditions, you might echo something else. Or it might be even way more complex than that. But you can add some, uh, you can make your website a bit more dynamic 
so the user has a better experience. If you have any questions about this little entry into PHP, please leave comments in the comments below. Otherwise, thank you for watching and have a great day.